Paradise Island. Welcome to the beautiful Bahamas, 200 miles off the Florida coastline of the USA, for the most radical makeover this great event has undergone in its 25-year history. Qualifying competitions have taken place all over the globe, and now we're left with just 12, the dueling dozen, one of whom will lift this, the Metrex Trophy, to be crowned the world's strongest man. is dramatically different this year, and here's why. Where once there were 30 contestants, now there are 12. They compete head-to-head -head over 11 events. Everybody plays everybody. Bonus points are available in each event, and the top six go through to this year's final. As ever, our resident expert is former world's strongest man, Jamie Reeves. Jamie, how are all these changes going to affect the way the guys approach each event? Well, before in the qualifying rounds there were just six events. Now the workload's nearly double, it's to 11. So this really favours the fitter guys. And also, you can't really see what your opponent's doing, so you've got to go full out in every event. This should make it really exciting. The powerful pole, Marius Pujanowski, is trying to win the title for a third consecutive year. I hope this year maybe win. I don't know, there's uh, it's a lot of athletes this year, he's very strong. It's uh, also is a uh, lot of uh, new events it's, and qualification is uh, last year is uh, six events. This year the qualification is uh, 11, 11 years. It's a lot of events this year. So here we go with 12 big men. One glorious island. Here's the first contest with Paul Dickinson. Take your position. A massive weight to be carried in this first event, 410 kilograms. Ready? This is a good event for Marius Pudzianowska, but it's also good for Hugo Girard. This should be a race to the finish line. West! The defending champion, he's won it two times in a row, nearest the camera, Marius Pudzianowska against Hugo Girard. Six times, Canada's strongest man, and it's the Pole who's coming away in defence of his title in this very first event in this year's competition. What a start for Marius. He's passed the first few markers, so he's got bonus points already. Down the 30 metre course, as though the weight is absolutely nothing, my goodness. Hugo Girard has got a single point so far, but needs to do more work. He's been one of the great strong men in recent years, but when it comes to this competition, he does struggle always, and he's struggling now. But he's got the front wheels over the line, that's all that counts, he knows that. He gets his five bonus points, but Marius Pudzianowski's got six. What a start for the Polish champion. Hugo, stay, stay back. I, easy, 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 fast go to finish. And you are feeling good? Yes, of course, it's very good. As I was doing the yoke, as I tried to build speed and take longer stride, and definitely uh, the left foot wasn't working like the right foot. So you have to adapt, and actually I'm glad I finished the course. Carry and drag. First of all, lift and carry this anchor of 100 kilograms and couple it to this chain for a combined weight of 300 kilograms. Then, if you can drag it 19 meters, you'll get a maximum of five points. And these guys don't get the luxury of a fork truck. Power-wise, it's event for uh, for lower lower back and legs, and also for actually for the endurance and everything. And I, I usually tend to do pretty well in it. So hopefully, God's are on my side now. And where's the pain? Everywhere, starting from legs, just coming upwards. The giant Take Magnus Samuelsson from Sweden, nearest the camera. Up against Mark Felix, who lives in Blackburn, but comes ready? from Grenada. Mark Felix, he's really got to start getting his aggression moving and take this to Samuelsson. Jamie Reeves, absolutely right here. Mark Felix, a first-timer in World's Strongest Man. Up against a man who was a former champion back in 1998 has been competing here in World's Strongest Man for the last 10 years. An experience may mean something. Felix fell down, he's lost some distance on the street there. And now Samuelson is coming away. Both men, though, gaining bonus points all the time, but who's going to win it? 
Felix looking good, and Samuelson over the line first, but the anchor's got to get across the line, and he does it. Six points. Can Mark Felix get five? Yes, he can. A good performance by Mark Felix in his very first ever World's Strongest Man contest. But Samuelson had the edge in the end. And you get the impression that Samuelson just did enough. Well, Cove Beach won't have seen anything like this before. 115 kilograms to be Take lifted as many times as possible. And Renny Minkvitz from Denmark, the first man to attempt this awesome weight. Normally I'm really good presser, so, but it's also a lot about balance in this one because it's not like a normal bar. So it, it can go one way or the other. Or the other. But uh, let's see, because Raymond is also really good. And um, it, can, it can be 50-50. Lift! Well, Minkvitz there talking about Raymond's Bergmanis, who we'll see next, a former Olympic weightlifter. And you suspect he may do well in this one, but already Dr. Douglas Edmonds, the event referee, saying no lift. That weight has got to stay solid and stay still once it gets to arm's length. That is a little Steady. better. Steady. He's still swaying around, but he's got one. He'll get a bonus point if he manages two. And of course, Bergmanis in the wings, watching Minkvitz very carefully. He's got to put up a good performance here to make sure that that single point that you get for the event win is safely in the bank, Third. if not in the safe. And that goes crashing down. He's got two. There's Bergmanis waiting, looking very nervous indeed, I have to say. There's plenty of time left. It's a 75-second time limit. And Renny Mikvitz, he's been in the top 10 in the world, but says the best is yet to come. We'll have to wait and see. 15. He's going to get three. Four that left. is it. He's going to have to be satisfied with a single bonus point for two repetitions. Is he coming back for more? No, he's not. The Dane is finished. And the crowd certainly appreciating just how difficult this event is. Raymond's Bergmanis next. Take Latvia's strongest man for many years. Well, this Russ. guy certainly has the technique. An Olympic weightlifter. Oh, he's just no. decided to push it up with his legs. No splitting or ducking underneath the bar. And this is very much thicker than a normal Olympic weightlifting bar. 254 pounds going up for the second time. No. So he matches Rene Minkvitz. Although that one was a bit wobbly, I have to say. Now, if he can go one ahead. Yes, he can. Third. And Douglas Edmonds says, yes, it's a good lift. He doesn't have to do any more in actual fact. He's beaten Minkvitz, so he'll get the extra point. But he wants more bonuses now. And Raymond Bergmanis says he wants to be a politician when he finishes his strongman career. He'd be very, very persuasive, I'm sure, in the Latvian parliament. Always a good competitor, always gives of his best. Just looking across there, looking for somebody to help him, I think. But he certainly wants some inspiration. The crowd have gone a bit quiet. They're trying to help him a bit now, but even Bergmanis, the great technician, is struggling with that weight. But he beats Rene Minkvitz of Denmark. Three lifts to two. Deadlift. Straight on to one of the old favorites in World's Strongest Man, the Take deadlift, the and Tommy Lotter from Finland. If I have to lift something very big weight in uh, maybe 350, I'm not good for that. Lift! Well, one of the reasons that Tommy is not good at deadlift is because of his height. He's almost Dang. six feet four inches tall, but made that start by look very easy. 265 kilos, now it weighs Dang. 280. If he lifts this next one with 300 kilos in, the first timer in World's Strongest Man is going to get a bonus Dang. point. Standing round there to see what's going on. Wants a bit more chalk on his hands, that's the reason. And those fans of World's Strongest Man in the past will remember, of course, that we used to use lifting straps in this competition. That is no longer allowed. It's down to pure grip strength. And, of course, the legs and the back as well. Trying to get number four, and he can't quite do it. So the chalk comes out once more. That dries off the hands. It's very warm here. 
and any sweat on the hands is going to make it doubly difficult. He throws his hand off. Now then, can this blonde giant from Finland do it? No, he can't. That was still a very good effort, though, for the Finn. I'm not happy for this, this last one, but I try. I think I get that up, but my grip lost that. I have to put down it. Well, let's see what Steve Kirit from the United States can do now. The former USA Strongest Man comes from Pittsburgh and he's competed in World Strongest Man twice before. Strong man, so every apparatus is a little different, so just try to hopefully get a groove in the lighter, uh, the lighter barrels and then just, just keep it going for the, you know, when it gets heavier. Lift! So Steve Kerritt's campaign Good. gets underway Good. with a very comfortable lift. Good. He said he was very, very skinny as a teenager. Good. Got kicked around a bit in school, Good. so Good. took up bodybuilding, took up powerlifting. And you can see Good. what the effect has been. Good. Now he's drawn level Good. with the fin. His time is quicker. He's after more bonus points, though. Is that it? Yes, it is. I thought he could have got at least one more repetition, but Steve Kirit gets the bonus point for beating Tommy Lotta of Finland. Uh, near the fourth, it was going to be really, really hard, so instead of killing myself and trying to do it, I just settled for three in good time because it's a long contest. So I think that'll place me, you know, close to the middle where I wanted to be in this. It's not one of my best events, so uh, I won't lose too much ground on it now. This is the fish fry in downtown Nassau, and this is where you come on a Friday night to get your Konkani lobster pulled freshly from the ocean, and it's where we find these two huge fingers of steel for the giant farmer's walk. Take your grip! Sidrinus Avikas on the left-hand side, the Lithuanian, and this man, the giant Vasil Varastyuk of the Ukraine. Are you ready? Savikas is no slow coach, but he'll have to really move fast to keep up with Vasil. Away we go. And already, the Rastyuk is away and running almost. This is astonishing. A massive amount of weight, as John was saying earlier. Look at the distance he's put between himself and Zavikas. And the has finished. A massive total of points there. He's definitely going to get six points. Five points for the distance bonuses. And, of course, the extra point for winning. And Zavikas, who's finished second twice, in World Strongest Men Finals, is struggling, my goodness. Now, this guy has been dominant throughout Europe over the course of the last 12 months. But really, the Ukrainian has thrown down a big marker saying, forget about him, I'm the man to beat this time. Absolutely phenomenal by Verastyuk. And a very disappointing start by the Lithuanian. At the start, you were so focused. What was your target, just to almost to run? My mind was focused on how important it was to cross the finish line. I'm very happy now. Stone Circle. Stone Circle. Another old favourite in World's Strongest Man, the Stone Circle, and Aid Rawlinson for the West Midlands, the first to attempt it. With this with me, it's just a little missing. If I get it too high, I'll black out. If I can get it just right, I can maybe do... One and a half laps, maybe. Well, that doesn't sound Lift. too promising, does it? But it shows you the sort of strain these guys are under. And this is one of the biggest men in this year's competition, Aid Rollinson, a 64-inch chest. That's absolutely incredible. Well, he's coming round towards one lap now. If he can do one lap, he's going to get a single bonus point. 
but he's up against Marius Pudzianowski, the defending World's Strongest Man champion. Locking those arms solid on that bar. 300 kilograms. He's heading towards one and a half. I think he's going to get two bonus points. And he has got it. So a pretty good start for Adrian. He finished second in Britain's Strongest Man this year. That's why he's here. Marius Pudzianowski, the pole is next. Trying to go for three titles in a row, which would be incredible. This event is good for me. It's a stone circle. It's a nice event for me. Up. Oh. Well, that certainly sounds bad for everybody else. Describing it as a nice event. I'm not sure about that. 300 kilos there. Crushing his forearms. Heading now towards his first bonus point, which he gets after one lap, and he strolls through there. This looks very good. Bad for Adrian Rollinson. Adrian had one and a half revolutions, which Marius has just gone past. Well, two titles for Marius Pudzianowski, and since then he's been around the world, dominating competitions. Adrian, he's got to be impressed with this man. He's heading now towards three revolutions. This is phenomenal. Oh, that was stunning by Marius Pudzianowski. Made it look so easy. Five bonus points, plus, of course, the single point for beating Adrian Rollinson. He is superhuman. Today, only I have world record four times. Today, easy uh, uh, four times also. Five is possible? Uh, five? I don't know, maybe. Meanwhile, in the truck pool, René Minkwitz of Denmark took five points with an impressive performance, completing the course in 29.87. Stones. For strong men, lifting these five Atlas stones is the ultimate badge of distinction. Then you really have joined the elite. You never know what's going to happen. It's, uh, it's a technical event, and you can easily make mistake. The uh, thing is now that uh, I will try my best just to get the five of the stones. Uh, I don't want to try to make any fast five here. I'm just going to try to make them all five, just slowly, but do them all. Sven's uh, a likely is uh, very hit and miss. Sometimes he's, he, he can do it very quick, sometimes he'll miss it. So uh, hopefully I can catch him on the miss. Well, I'm good myself, so, you know, I don't underestimate me. <laughs> Adrian Rollison calls himself the Stone Monster. Well, he's got a point to prove now because he's going against a former World's Strongest Man winner in Sven Carlsen. So it's the Stone Monster up against Viking Power. Adrian Rollison on the right-hand side. Get ready! And what a magnificent location this is. For every stone they lift up, they're going to get a bonus point. And it could well be a race against the clock to see who wins this one. I've seen Sven Carlsen lift all five in the past, and I've seen Adrian match it. This could be incredible, and it's the Norwegian, former winner of World's Strongest Man, who's leading at the moment. But Adrian Rollinson certainly not out of it. Now, if Rollinson can get this one up, and it's head-to-head -head on stone number five for five bonus points and the win. 160 kilos, he's going to get it. Oh, Carlsen almost got it. Rollinson does it. And just to show he's an athlete as well, he does the splits, my goodness. What a performance by Adrian Rollinson, beating the Viking power of Sven Carlsen. Absolutely brilliant, well done. I still do kickboxing, so I train on my own, and uh, still doing martial arts for my fitness side. Also in the stones, a good win for Mark Felix to prove he's a real contender now at this level. I try my best, of course, but Raymond is a very strong guy and he has a very strong legs and back and I have to do my best if I got to win. You're very, very strong, maybe another next four events, but if you're injured it here, and you lost it all. But anyway, it's fight and it's, why not? Well, Raymond's Bergmanis looks pretty relaxed about it. But there are a lot of nerves out there. I hope the landing area is soft. You've got two athletes here weighing in at over 22 stone each. Ready. Bergmanis is training to be a bodyguard for the Latvian president. Let's see if he's learnt anything about combat as he takes on Tommy Lotta in the wrestling. Well, we'll soon find out. 
Two giant men here trying to push each other out of the ring or throw each other. Neither of them can really get a grip here. And that is going to get worse as time goes on because as they get sweaty, they're going to get very slippery indeed. Getting very close to the edge and Bergmanus trying to push out the fin. And the fin manages to struggle back into the centre and he goes. Bergmanus just got Tommy off balance and he gets his first win. Well, beginning to blow just a little Engage. bit. But I have to say, I'm very impressed with these athletes. They are doing more aerobic training now in preparation for competitions Ready. such as this. <laughs> and Tommy Lotter, he's got to come straight back and try and get Bogmanis out of the ring if possible. He's trying to reach around that huge chest. He's got a 58 inch chest as Bogmanis, and he's going. Wow. The first bout of wrestling we've seen in this year's contest, and it is neck and neck at the moment. Raymond's looking a little bit puffed out. Tommy Lotter, well, he's on a roll at the moment. He won that last bout, and the winner of this one will get the extra bonus point. Bergmanis being spun around, and that was so, so quick. And Bergmanis pushes his hands up in the air as if to say, what on earth happened there? So Tommy the Lotter, the victor, to two Tommy bouts to one. Lotter. That was good. Very good indeed. Maybe it's uh, not strong man events, but uh, I'm happy because I win. It's good events then. <laughs> I think you're going to see a lot less guys turning on number five around in the sand because it's going to take a lot of energy. I don't know, if on any other surface, asphalt, I could tell you the result, the result. Like piscu, but on sand, it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. Certainly, Verastia got off to a cracking start in the farmer's Take walk. He's up against the Norwegian legend, Carlsen. Former champion Sven Carlsen looks a little jaded to me. On the other hand, Varaschuk, he'll get five fingers for sure. Well, that's a very confident Jamie Reeves. I have to say, in all the years I've been involved in Strongest Man, I haven't seen too many people go on to lift and flip number five. The bonus structure here is very simple. This third column which weighs 250 kilos. If they get it, they're each in for three bonus points. But now it's all about who can be the fastest to get the extra bonus point at the end. 275 kilos, the last one, a massive 300 kilos, and now Varastyuk of the Ukraine is moving ahead. Carlson is tiring. Varastyuk is absolutely magnificent. That's got to be some sort of record. Six points in total. Sven Carlson gets five. That was one of the great Fingles Finger competitions I've ever seen. Magnificent from the Ukrainian. I'm just trying to do the event. I'm not thinking about the result, just do it. Now in the squat lift, René Minkvitz found things very tough indeed. His opponent, though, was feeling pretty confident. Maybe I do six lifts because uh, save energy for final, but, but I will see how it will be. He's got to get through to the final first, and this is an event where he could do extremely well. Zavikas of Lithuania. Take your position. He was a silver medalist once in the World Championships for powerlifting, and squat is one of the disciplines in that sport. So this could be Stand very up. good indeed. Squat. Just look at the way he's got his knees heavily Go strapped. The barrel is added. Squat. He's got to wait for that. 280 Go kilos. Left. My goodness, that was easy. Squat. And already Go he left. goes ahead of Reddy Minkvich. So the extra bonus point Squat. for winning the contest is Go assured. Left. Now he's going for all the bonuses. Squat. If he gets the sixth Go barrel, left. he's on five bonus points. Squat. And this is a huge weight, getting a lot of support from his fellow competitors too. And just to remind everybody, this is a man who finished second in the last two World Strongest Men finals. And that has set a huge target for anybody else to beat in the squad. Six points for Zavikas. And he absolutely destroyed the challenge of Reni Minkvitz. My best squad, 425 kilograms. It's 375, 370, no problem. Well, at the end of the first programme, the leading contenders from last year are well to the fore again in the battle for the Metrix trophy. 
But further down the list, the veteran Samuelson has only had one event so far, and he could well be a major threat later. Next time, can Britain's Adrian Rollinson close the gap on the leaders? And can anybody beat the Polish double champion? Stop, stop!